drilling is an industrial activity. Uh, so uh, it's going to have impacts. Uh, the question is whether those impacts are manageable. Um, and uh, you know, we have uh, there are impacts to the surface land, um, erosion, sedimentation, um, impacts to uh, local roads from uh, the heavy trucks um, uh, driving on roads that were not constructed for that purpose, um, you know, or rural uh, dirt roads um, in um, the outs outside of major cities in Pennsylvania. Um, there are um, uh, production fluids um, that result uh, after the well has been completed that need to be properly managed and disposed of. Um, and of course there are impacts to the air resources primarily from uh, compressor stations that are built to drive the product to the marketplace. You know, I think by nature, uh, uh, government tends to strike a balance. You know, it's pulled uh, on the one side by um, uh, production and, and use of our resources, and on the other by conservation of the resources being impacted um, by the industry. Um, Pennsylvania has a long history of um, uh, fishing uh, and hunting. Um, we care about our environment. Um, and at the same time uh, tend to recognize the um, great opportunity that the Marcellus Shale development has to offer in terms of jobs and economic development. Um, and so, you know, I think that the government, um, we've done a, um, a, a good job of uh, balancing uh, regulation in a way that protects the environment, um, preserves our heritage of hunting and fishing in Pennsylvania, and at the same time uh, encourages uh, economic development. Attempt uh, as best we can to have a um, translucent uh, government. Um, we um, regularly um, in our regional offices make ourselves available to the public. Um, uh, we have an open records law um, that uh, we make uh, records available uh, for persons, interest groups that want to come in and uh, review our actions. Um, and uh, we hold public meetings, for example, tonight. Um, you know, we were requested by Fallowfield Township, which is a small township out in the middle of Marcellus Gas Development in Washington County, um, to come out and just be available um, to uh, discuss with the um, local groups um, their interests and concerns. And so we'll be going out there this evening, um, traveling out uh, and uh, uh, making ourselves available. Pennsylvania uh, enacted uh, regulations uh, designed uh, to protect our drinking water supplies. We recognize that, um, um, I don't know what the exact numbers are, but many of our citizens, uh, including myself, um, rely on well water. Um, uh, we uh, sink wells down to uh, anywhere from you know, uh, 50 to 200 feet below the ground surface um, and depend on uh, the water that comes out of those wells for drinking. Um, purposes um, and uh, we've enacted regulations that uh, uh, require uh, any gas well um, to case down uh, with metal uh, through that groundwater aquifer that's used for drinking water supply um, and then cement up the outside and seal off that aquifer from any further development um, to ensure that uh, uh, that groundwater is uh, protected. If done properly, um, there's no reason why we should see an impact to our drinking water supplies. Are they fracking anywhere near your house? Uh, yes, they are, actually. Okay. And you'll still drink your water, so? Well, you know, these wells are, um, uh, what, um, more than a mile uh, under the uh, And so, uh, um, I'm more likely to be uh, have my drinking water supply impacted by a farmer up the road uh, not properly managing uh, his or her um, uh, liquid manure from their cows uh, that's stored above ground in an impoundment uh, than I am Marcellus shale drilling. You know, our, our, our message to industry um, uh, since uh, this industry arrived in Pennsylvania has been the same. Uh, it's been consistent um, and that is uh, uh, we want to get it done but it needs to be done right. 
and doing it right means uh, putting the money necessary to ensure that those risks are mitigated, both from uh, remunerating local municipalities for impacts to roads, to um, uh, using uh, proper casing and cementing to protect our groundwater supply, uh, to properly managing the production fluids afterwards, um, and uh, any other uh, wastes that are generated by the industry. Um, reclaiming the land and making sure uh, that um, uh, that um, uh, the um, surface uh, impacts are minimized. Uh, most industries seem to be, uh, most companies uh, uh, that I've observed seem to be doing a great job. They're taking um, steps not required by our regulations to mitigate impacts and really sort of going above and beyond what's the minimum that's required. For example, by um, lining their entire site uh, before they move any equipment on so that any spills of industrial fluids, any oil that's uh, uh, bound to happen uh, in an industrial operation is captured and, and, and is able to be uh, managed properly.